Okay, so we've been working in iBooks Author, and let's say we were getting down to the end of our book here, or at least the end of um, what we've created, and we want to share this with the people that we're collaborating with. Especially for this project, it's really super important that we um, save our permissions uh, and sharing so that others can read and write. So I'm going to show you how to quick do that. Uh, so first of all, this is just kind of my short make-believe book here, and I'm just going to save this to my desktop. So. Uh, after I save it to my desktop, you'll see the icon up here on my desktop. I'm just going to select that icon and hit Command-I. Command-I brings up the information about this book. So down here at the bottom, it's really important that you note the, the sharing and permissions. So if it's not turned on, go ahead and click that arrow so it drops down. The sharing and permissions need to be set to read and write for everybody. The default is read only for the staff and everyone else. Oops, sorry. Uh, staff and everyone else. So you're going to need to change that. So change it to read and write only. And that way, when we save our file and when we share it with others, others can edit it and they can export it. So now that I've changed those sharing permissions, I'm going to actually share this. So a couple of different ways I can share this is just from the top uh, menu bar, I can come up here to share and hit send via email. I can ship this off as an iBooks author file for Mac. Remember, iBooks author are the, is the extension .iba, and it's only going to be able to be opened and edited on a Mac. I can also ship this as a .iBooks file for the iPad. Likewise, .i, um, .iBooks is the file extension for this format, and it's only openable and viewable on the iPad. The PDF is going to be viewable anywhere. However, you're going to lose all of your inter, uh, interactivities. So I can send it via email or I can choose to export. Note that I also have that uh, same option to export under file. So when I choose export, again, I can choose from those three formats, or sorry, those two formats. I can export it as iBooks, as a PDF, or as just a plain text document. So I'm going to choose iBooks, and I'm just going to um, walk through my steps here. Select Next, and I'm just going to select the name for it, and I'm going to actually share this to my desktop so you can see that and hit export. This will be a pretty quick export because it's a small file size and when that's done I'll show you that it appears here on my desktop. So notice the difference between the two icons the .iba says IBA on it, the .ibooks says iBooks on it. This one is only going to be opened, um, able to be opened on your iPad and this one's only going to be able to be opened and edited on your uh, MacBook. So from here you can uh, kind of handle these files any other way you'd handle them. If you want to distribute them via email or if you want to link to them in a learning management system or if you want to um, link to them through Dropbox or something like that, you can go ahead and do that.